Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sean Atkins, Chair of the East Point Planning and Zoning Commission, and at this time I will call our regularly scheduled March meeting to order. Staff, would you please sound roll call to establish a quorum? Commissioner Lovett? Yes. Commissioner Bell? Present. Commissioner Miller? Here. Commissioner Fan? Here. Commissioner Atkins? Present. Commissioner Tucker? Here. Commissioner McKnight? Here. Commissioner Maxwell? Commissioner Mitchell? Present. You have a quorum. Thank you. At this time, we will um, observe a moment of silence. And as we do so, I just kindly ask that you remember all of those who have suffered tragedy in our country and around the world the, over the last month, and particularly those who lost lives today in Florida. Thank you. If you would please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Commissioners, at this time I will entertain a motion to approve our agenda as, to adopt our agenda as printed. Motion to adopt. Is second. There a second. Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Be uh, uh, Fan, seconded by Commissioner Miller, that we adopt our agenda as printed. All in favor, sound aye. Aye. All opposed, sound nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. Our agenda is adopted. Commissioners, at this time I entertain a motion to approve our February 15, 2018 meeting minutes. Mr. Chair, yes. um, Commissioner Bell has requested that um, I apprise the commission that he would like the um, minutes um, that have been provided of February 15, 2018 amended to show that although he was present, he abstained from voting on approval of the January 25th, 2018 minutes simply because he wasn't a commissioner at that point in time. And so I'd ask for um, some sort of motion um, to that effect. Okay, thank you, Ms. Dunleavy. Um, did all the commissioners hear that? Okay, so at this time, before we approve our February 15, 2018 meeting minutes, um, I'd like to entertain a motion to accept the amendment, um, the amended um, minutes um, as stated by um, our counsel, Ms. Dunleavy. So moved. Is, should really be a motion to approve. A motion. I'd like to make a motion for the approval of the February 15th, 2018 minutes with the exemption of the notations where Commissioner um, Bell voted. Second. I second the motion. Okay. It's been moved by Commissioner Tucker, seconded by Commissioner Mitchell. Um, all in favor sound aye. 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 All opposed sound nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. We'll move on to new business. Our first case is 2018 M as in Mary-001-03. Staff, would you please sound this agenda item? Case number 2018M-001-03. The applicant is the city of East Point. Uh, this is a text amendment to amend part 10, chapter two, article A definitions by adding a definition for funeral homes and amending part 10, chapter two, article C sections 10-2068 CUP Community Unit Plan, 10-2071 MI Medical Institutional, 10-2072 C1 Neighborhood Commercial, 10-2075 CR Commercial Redevelopment, and 10-2076 MIX Mixed Use District by adding funeral homes as a permitted use. Okay, thank you. This particular agenda item, as along with the other three on our agenda this evening, they do require public hearings. At this time, I'll read our rules for public hearings. They will apply to all of the cases this evening. At the conclusion of the reading of the public hearing, I will then entertain a motion to open the public hearing for this first case. Public hearings before the Planning and Zoning Commission shall be conducted in accordance with Section 10-2219 of the East Point Zoning Code and Development Regulations as follows. Persons both favoring and opposing the proposed case will be provided an opportunity to address the commission. The applicant for the zoning case or the applicant's designated representative, if any, will be entitled to speak first. 
followed by other speakers in favor of the proposal for a total of 15 minutes. Those who oppose the proposed zoning case will then be permitted to speak for a total of 15 minutes. By majority vote, the commission may increase the total time for speakers provided that each side is given the same amount of time. If there is more than one speaker for a side, the chair or the presiding officer may limit the time allotted to each individual speaker other than the zoning applicant. The zoning applicant may reserve a portion of his or her allotted time for rebuttal. Speakers must adhere to the rules of decorum. Prior to speaking, each speaker shall identify him or herself and state his or her current address. Each speaker shall speak only to the merits of the proposed zoning decision under consideration, shall address remarks only to the commission, and shall refrain from making personal attacks on any other speaker. The presiding officer may refuse a speaker the right to continue if after first being cautioned, the speaker continues to violate the rules of the quorum. You've heard our rules for public hearing. Commissioners at this time are entertaining a motion to open the public hearing for case number 2018, Emerson Mary-001-03. How so moved? Is there a second? Second. It's been moved by our um, also newly joining commissioner. Commissioner Maxwell, that we open the public hearing for this case. It's been seconded by Commissioner Miller. All in favor, sound aye. Aye. All opposed, sound nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. The public hearing is now open. Is our applicant present this evening? That would be the city of East Point. Yes, yes. Would you please state your first and last name? Your current, just joking, Frank. If you would go ahead and pre present the case for the text amendment. Okay, so the, the zoning code does not provide any regulations for funeral homes. Uh, staff has received- Frank, I'm sorry. Could you start over again? I miss a part of what you said at first. Okay. Um, so for this case, this text amendment, the zoning code does not provide any regulations for funeral homes. Uh, staff has received several inqu inquiries regarding fun fun funeral homes in locations within the city. Um, due to this omission, uh, this text amendment includes funeral homes as a permitted use in uh, C1, C2, uh, MIX, CUP, MI, and um, CR zoning districts. Thank you. Are there any other proponents here to speak to this zoning case? Any other proponents? Anyone else to speak in favor of this text amendment? Anyone else? Is there anyone here to speak against this text amendment? Anyone here to speak against the zoning case? Seeing none, commissioners at this time, I entertain a motion to close the public hearing. Motion to close the public hearing, Mr. Chair. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Fan, seconded by Commissioner Miller that we close the public hearing. All in favor, sound aye. Aye. All opposed, sound nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. The public hearing is now closed. Staff, would you please sound your recommendation? Uh, in case number 2018M-001-03, the applicant is the city of East Point. Staff recommends approval of the text amendment to add a definition for funeral homes and amend part 10, chapter two, article C, sections 10-2068, CUP, community unit plan, 10-2071, MI, medical institutional, 10-2072, C1, neighborhood commercial, 10-2075, CR, commercial redevelopment, and 10-2076, MIX, mixed use district, by adding funeral home as a permitted use. Commissioners, you've heard from the applicant, which is the city of East Point. You've also heard staff's recommendation. Um, at this time, I entertain a motion. Motion for approval of case two zero. Thank you so very much. Motion to approve case two zero one eight M that's zero zero one dash three. Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Fan and seconded by Commissioner Mitchell that this body recommends approval of this text amendment, which is case number 2018, M is in Mary, 001-03. At this time, I'll open the floor for any comments, questions, or concerns. Seeing none and hearing none, the motion is to, to recommend approval. All in favor, sound aye. 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 All opposed, sound nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. This body recommends approval. Thank you. Our next case is 2018 Z as in 0-002-02. Staff, would you please sound this agenda item? Uh, case number 2018Z-002-02. Uh, the applicant is FL Sims Funeral Home. Uh, the location is 2968, 2978, and 5 East Point Street. Uh, applicant seeks to rezone the properties from R1A, urban residential, to CR, commercial redevelopment. Thank you. 
Commissioners, at this time, I entertain a motion to open the public hearing for case number 2018-0002-02. Motion to open. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Miller, seconded by Commissioner Lovett, that we open the public hearing for this agenda item. All in favor sound aye. Aye. All opposed sound nay. Hear none. The ayes have it. The public hearing is now open. Is our applicant FL Sims Funeral Home present this evening? Please step to the podium, state your first and last name and your current address. <coughs> Fernando Sims, 2968 East Point Street, 2978 East Point Street, and 5 East Point Street. Mr. Sims, you can go ahead and present your case. Okay, we're here today to rezone the property that we purchased on December 22nd from SCI Corporation out of Houston, Texas. Um, we're here to uh, hopefully get it rezoned to become a funeral home once again. Um, it was originally, the property was originally established in 1935 as a funeral home by the Carmichael family. And um, they sold out the funeral home, I think about 10 years ago, ago to SCI, uh, which is a global corporation that owns a lot of funeral homes and cemeteries throughout the, the world. And um, they closed the facility back in April of 2016, I believe. And the building was, uh, for the most part, vacant up until December 22nd. And at that point, we purchased a uh, building and we're assuming that it was already zoned for a funeral home and didn't realize that it wasn't. So we're asking the council now to hopefully approve us to operate a funeral home there. Okay, all right. Are there any, thank you Mr. Sims, are there any other proponents for this zoning case? Any other proponents for this zoning case? Very well. Is there anyone here to speak against this zoning case? Any opponents to this zoning case? Seeing none, commissioners, at this time I entertain a motion to close the public hearing. Close the public hearing. Is there a second? It's been moved by Commissioner Fan, seconded by Commissioner McKnight, that we close the public hearing for case number 2018 Z as in Zebra-002-02. All in favor sound aye. Aye. All opposed sound nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. The public hearing is now closed. Staff, would you please sound your recommendation? Case number 2018Z-002-02. The applicant is FL Sims Funeral Home. The location is 2968, 2978, and 5 East Point Street. Uh, staff recommends approval of rezoning the properties from R1A Urban Residential to CR Commercial Redevelopment with the following conditions. Subject parcels 2968, 2978, and 5 East Point Street shall be consolidated in accordance with Chapter 4, Section 10-4005, and Section 10-4006. Okay. Commissioners, you've heard from the applicant, you've heard staff's recommendation. At this time, I entertain a motion. Motion for approval. Okay, is there a second? Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Fan, seconded by Commissioner Mitchell, that this body recommends approval um, and accepting staff's recommendation. And conditions, is that correct? That is absolutely correct, Mr. Okay. Chair. All right. Are there any comments, questions, or concerns from other commissioners? Hearing none and seeing none, this body, um, the motion on the floor, commissioners made by Commissioner Fan, seconded by Commissioner Mitchell, that this body recommends approval for case number 2018 Z as in Zebra-002-02 with conditions as stated by staff. All in favor sound aye. Aye. All opposed sound nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. Um, the motion is approved. We Thank recommend you. approval. Thank you. Thank you. Our next agenda item is 2018 Emmons and Mary-002-03. Staff, would you please sound this agenda item? Case number 2018M-002-03. The applicant is the City of East Point. Uh, this is a text amendment to amend Part 10, Chapter 3, Article P, Multifamily Rental Housing by deleting Exhibit A, referenced in Section 10-3075 definition, definitions, Code Compliance Certificate, amending dates in Section 10-3076 fee and certificate requirements, and deleting Exhibit A of 10-3079 uh, repeal of conflicting revisions. Okay. Commissioners, at this time I entertain a motion to open the public hearing for this agenda item. So moved. Is there a second? Yeah. It's been moved by Commissioner Tucker, second by Commissioner Lovett, that we open the public hearing for case number 2018-0002-02. 
18 Emmons and Mary dash uh, 002-03. All in favor sound aye. Aye. All opposed sound nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. The public hearing is now open. The applicant is staff, so the applicant is the city of East Point, so staff, if you would, please present your case. Okay. The current multifamily rental housing regulations uh, for the city of East Point were instituted in 2009. In some cases, the regulations have become outdated and do not allow for modifications to the uh, reference code of compliance certificate. Um, due to consistent updates to the IABC or the International Building Code, uh, the, code com the Code of Compliance Certificate uh, referenced as Exhibit A in this ordinance has become outdated. Uh, therefore, staff proposes to delete Exhibit A as well as any references therein to allow for modifications as needed. Um, staff further proposes to amend the dates of compliance and commencement of said ordinance. Okay. Thank you. Are there any other proponents here to speak in favor of this text amendment? amendment? Any other proponents? Is there anyone here to speak against the text amendment? Any opponents to the text amendment? Seeing none, commissioners, at this time I entertain a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Mitchell, seconded by Commissioner Miller, that we close the public hearing. All in favor sound aye. Aye. All opposed sound nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. The public hearing is now closed. Staff, would you please sound your recommendation for this agenda item? Case number 2018M-002-03. The applicant is the city of East Point. Uh, the tech, staff recommends approval of the text amendment to uh, amend multifamily rental housing by deleting the reference to Exhibit A in the definition of code compliance certificate of Section 10-3075 definitions. Modify the dates of institution and commencement as delineated in Section 10-3076 fee and certificate requirements and delete Exhibit A in Section 10-3079 repeal of conflicting revisions. Okay, thank you. Commissioners, you've heard from the applicant, which is the city of East Point. You've also heard staff's recommendation. At this time, I entertain a motion. Motion for approval. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Fan, seconded by Commissioner Tucker, that this body recommends approval of case number 2018, Emma's and Mary, 002 03. Are there any comments, questions, or concerns from the commission? Hearing none, all in favor sound aye. Aye. All opposed sound nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. This body recommends approval of the text amendment. Our next agenda item is 2018 Emmons and Mary 003 03. Staff, would you please sound this agenda item? Case number 2018M 003 03. Uh, the applicant is the city of East Point. Uh, this is a text amendment to amend Part 10, Chapter 7, Section 10 7002 definitions for murals and 10 7017D commercial redevelopment murals. Okay. Um, at this time, commissioners are entertaining a motion to open the public hearing. Motion to open the public hearing. Is there a second? Okay. It's been moved by Commissioner Miller, seconded by Commissioner Mitchell that we open the public hearing for this agenda item. All in favor sound aye. Aye. All opposed sound nay. Here none, the ayes have it, the public hearing is now open. The city of East Point is the, um, the applicant, and so staff, if you would, please um, present the case. Currently, murals are defined as a very large image, such as painting, applied directly to a wall. Murals are signs that promote public art and are not used for advertising. As directed, staff is proposing this amendment to allow for advertising for murals uh, for properties that are zoned CR, commercial redevelopment, within the downtown architecture overlay district only. Okay, are there any other proponents? Anyone else here to speak in favor of this text amendment? Any other proponents? Is there anyone here to speak against this text amendment? Any opponents to the text amendment? Okay, see a none. Commissioners, at this time, I entertain a motion to close the public hearing. Or move. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Maxwell, seconded by Commissioner Miller, that we close the public hearing for this agenda item. All in favor sound aye. Aye. All opposed sound nay. Here none, the ayes have it. The public hearing is now closed. Staff, would you please sound your recommendation? Case number 2018M-003-03. The applicant is the city of East Point. Uh, staff recommends approval to amend Part 10, 
Chapter 7, Section 10-7002, Definitions Murals, and 10-7017D, Commercial Redevelopment Murals. Okay. Commissioners, you've heard from the applicant, which is the City of Eastport. You've also heard staff's recommendation. At this time, I entertain a motion. Mr. Move to approve. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, um, so is it? So we need a motion first before there's, is a motion to approve. Is there a second? Okay, um, Commissioner, um, the motion, is, there's a recommendation to approve by Commissioner Mitchell and a second by Commissioner McKnight. Um, any comments, questions, or concerns? I do. Yes. I, I just want to make sure that we're clear. I heard what staff said about the murals in terms of advertisement, but using for advertisement purposes in the downtown overlay district. Is that what you stated? I just want to be clear for the record. That's correct. The text amendment is to allow for advertising on murals. Um, as it is defined currently, advertisement is not allowed on murals at all within the city. Uh, the proposal is to allow for advertising on murals within uh, the town, downtown architectural overlay district for those properties that are zoned commercial redevelopment. Commercial redevelopment properties only? Correct. Okay, I'm good. Thank you. So, commissioners, um, for this particular text amendment, my concern with um, the text amendment and the proposal is that I strongly believe that murals should be for public art and not for advertising. I also have um, some strong feelings about how advertising can be used. Um, there is no language here that would restrict um, the sale of the space on a side of a building to any entity for advertising. So if I am the owner of building X on 1234 Main Street and I've got a solid surface to the north and the south of my building, um, I could sell that space to um, John Smith's real estate agent and have a lease agreement for that space for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. I could then turn around and sell it to someone else. I could do the same thing on the other side and it becomes less about art and more about advertising. And so I have very strong feelings about the text amendment. I strongly believe that murals should be for public art. It enhances the culture of a municipality. We have a sign ordinance and if people would like to advertise, then they can advertise in the city of East Point and abide by the ordinance that we already have in place for signs. Can I say something again, Mr. Chair, if you don't mind? Sure. I, the reason I asked that question was because of somewhat what you're talking about, because I, I just can't see murals, and all my vote was going to be no, but my, I can't see murals as, as being uh, for, for advertisement purposes, because I feel like you feel, because if Coca-Cola wanted to come in and put their sign on a mirror or somebody else wanted to to advertise, you're giving a business, an opportunity in our downtown overlay district. We're talking about the downtown overlay district. We're not talking about anything in the downtown. And we're, we're in the process now of building a brand new city hall complex and to have downtown covered with advertisement, it, it takes away from the aesthetics of what we're trying to do, in my opinion, for downtown. So I think I agree with you in terms of the murals for our purposes, but I don't agree with us putting it in for advertisement at all. I, that's that's going to be, and I was going to wait until we get ready to vote, then I was going to say what I need to say at the time to vote, but you always uh, upstage me, but it's all good. <laughs> no, we're, 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 we're simply sharing. Um, we, we, we have no time limit on our meeting, Commissioner Fan. Right. We, could, we could go as long as you like, so we're simply sharing. Everyone gets a voice. Mr. Chair, you yes, both Commissioner upstage Fan. me because I completely concur with both what you said. Um, I just can't see how it would be uh, attractive or necessary. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Chair, I'm strongly against it for the same reasons. Microphone. Mr. Chair, I'm strongly against it for the same reasons that have been so eloquently shared by others than myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, any other comments, questions, or concerns? So, commissioners, at present, there is a recommendation to um, approve um, made by... Yes. Any other... Mr. Chair, just a point of clarity um, and not to take away any of your comments, um, I do want to just read what the amended uh, definite, uh, definition is proposed to be. Um, the mural shall be allowed to promote public art 
advertising shall be allowed on one wall elevation for a single tenant building within the downtown architectural overlay district. And I'm just, just a point of clarity that it's not for outside advertising, it's only for a single tenant building, and that tenant would be the only one that would be allowed to put their advertisement on there. And that was just a point of clarity. Yeah, well, I appreciate that point of clarity, and, um, and that's really good also for our viewing public and those who are here this evening. And I know that my position still remains the same because for that tenant, that tenant is allowed to advertise their business through the sign ordinance. And so at that point, the mural becomes yet another sign, and they already are allowed to advertise with signs, and so it really becomes a billboard. Um, and so I'm opposed to it. I think that murals should be for public art to add to the cultural fiber of a municipality. So um, if there, yes, I, I, do, I have something to say too in terms of the mural, because whatever mural they put on there, and you know, we got so many people right here doing all this graphic art and murals and stuff they putting on, around here. I mean, we need to define what the mural is going to be too. So we just can't have no anything up there for mural and people calling that art. I mean, I mean, I'm just being straight up honest with you because you. they may have some new pictures up there, anything, and call it a mirror. So we got, we have to be clear when we talk about what's a mirror that's going to be up there. That's why I am, you know. In our downtown overlay district, we have to have put some kind of standards there. Mm -hmm. Any other comments, questions, or concerns? All right, Commissioner. Yes, I'm sorry, Commissioner McKnight. I was just wondering if it was possible to add um, to it where it still would, the, the graphic art would have to be approved by the city since it would be in the commercial district area? As it stands right now, all signs, including murals, uh, would have to go through, a, uh, currently goes through a permitting process. Okay. So we also, um, anything like obscenities and um, nudity as, as indicated, uh, is addressed in our sign ordinance and is not allowed. It's prohibited. But is a mural considered a sign, though? That's the point. Is it considered no. a sign? No, yes, yeah, Commissioner a mural Fannin. And signs, we go through the same process. Okay, okay. Yes. All right, I just want to okay. make sure. Right. A mural is considered a sign, and murals are currently permitted um, you know, in the overlay district. However, they're only for, right now, only allowed for the purposes of promoting public art. So the amendment essentially takes away the exception that is in the current definition and saying you can't advertise on murals. That's what the amendment attempts to do, is, is allow that advertising. But murals have been allowed for quite some time, so long as they are promoting public art. All right. Commissioners, the motion is to recommend approval. It's been made by Commissioner Mitchell, second by Commissioner McKnight. All in favor to recommend approval, sound aye. I couldn't hear that. <laughs> so is that all opposed? Say nay. Nay. Okay. You might need to do a, a, roll, call. a, a roll call on that. Yes. <laughs> so um, it's, um, we will we'll do roll call. Staff, would you please um, proceed with the roll call vote? Commissioner Lovett? No. Commissioner Bell? No. Commissioner Miller? No. Commissioner Fan? No. <laughs> Commissioner Atkins? No, I'll have to only vote in case of a time. Commi so Commissioner time. Tucker? No. Commissioner McKnight? Yes. Yeah. Commissioner Maxwell? Commissioner Mitchell? Motion fails. Um, the, the motion fails. Yes, the motion fails. And so, because the motion fails, then we also need to um, dispose of the item. So then, so we do need to dispose of this item. So commissioners, at this time, I'll entertain an another motion. Mr. Chair? Yes, Commissioner Tucker? I would like to make a motion to recommend denial. Okay, is there a second? Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Tucker, seconded by Commissioner. Commissioner Lovett, <laughs> second by Commissioner Lovett, that this body recommends <laughs> denial of this text amendment. Um, any comments, questions, or concerns? The motion on the floor is to recommend denial. All in favor, sound aye. Aye. All opposed, sound nay. Okay. <laughs> So we have one nay. So um, the motion, um, the motion carries, and so this body will recommend denial. All right. Thank you. Um, at this time, we move to our next agenda item, which is announcements. Um, staff, are there any announcements? 
No. Okay. Commissioners, do you have any announcements? Okay. Hearing none, at this time I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Fan, seconded by Commissioner Miller that we adjourn this March 15, 2018 meeting. All in favor, sound aye. Aye. All opposed, sound nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. This meeting is now adjourned. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir.